Mr. to come. Here's Mr. Yes. Sato for, I've lost track of how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> Soon become 45. Well, you're one of the young guys. Yeah, not too bad, huh? I mean, can I just turn 47? I know, I know. I'm just uh, trying to catch him up. Elio's won the 500 at 46. Yeah. So I can't see there. Let's talk about this new arrangement. You have this new team. Uh, Dale Coin Racing has been very successful in a lot of uh, iterations. Uh, engineering staff continues to change, but the consistency of the program continues to be uh, punching above its weight is kind of the phrase. How do you feel about it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm thrilled and really excited, um, not just because it's a new season because you got with the new team, but the, uh, the Dale, someone who really dedicated, you know, for the, uh, the uh, organization and driver. Of course, no offense, all the other teams do the same things too, but the, uh, in particular, Dale. So I'm just purely excited to go to the new season with Dale Coin Racing, with Rick Rail Racing. And um, like you said, um, it's, uh, it's, it's resource-wise not uh, one of the biggest team. In fact, it's one of the smallest team. But I've been there with AJ Foyt, and then uh, it's just a really family-oriented team on that one, but also the Dale's team as a very very competitive in any field super speedway we've seen we observed a couple of times on the just lightning speed in speedway which is very very excited as well as street course road course um, very successful in the last few seasons with the deal so yeah once again there is no reason why we can't be competitive again and with new organization i'm uh, entirely excited about it i suppose you know dale's history as a as a race caller his uh, strategy is usually as good as anybody in the paddocks. Yes, um, I'm fully aware of that. And um, that's something, of course, that's uh, quite looking forward to working with Dale himself. Uh, he will be standby on my pit stop. So, uh, yeah, pit, sorry, pit stand. And uh, he will call my race, which is, um, yes, always exciting. You could win a third Indy 500 with three different teams. Nothing is impossible. And, um, you know, showing that Dale Coin Racing is always um, showing a pure low speed in Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm suddenly very, very excited. Go over here to the right with Bruce Martin. Takuma, I believe you're the uh, first two-time winner that Dale's ever had drive one of his race cars. So what kind of a symbiotic relationship can you have, what you bring to his team to help them improve? Well, let's see. It's a, it's a it's natural bonding that we bring the, on the table with uh, both of the side of the experience. You know, they they all uh, showing like repeatedly saying they the the car is extremely um, competitive in terms of just low speed. But then uh, what I've experienced in the past few years, in particular with the winnings on the 500. That's something I can support to the Dale, and uh, we will see if that's a magical chemical reaction starts. And also kind of a follow-up on what Kurt asked, uh, Dale's ability to count, sometimes pull the rabbit out of the hat with his pit strategy. I mean, he got Carlos Huertas uh, to victory lane. So, I mean, if you can do that, that's pretty good strategy. But do you marvel sometimes at how smart he is for the resources that he's got to work with, that he can be that competitive? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, Dale himself too. That's driving in really until recently in 1991, which sounds like just really like yesterday. And uh, you know, he knows about the business in the cockpit, and as well as that, just like you, Martin said, you know, his ability to see the race, um, whole race and stories, and that's uh, something, yeah, out of the pocket, and so suddenly just uh, Dale Coyne Racing has become a very competitive in the field. That's uh, that's something a special bonus to me. I mean, I'm not expecting every single race like that way, but at least um, at least we have uh, a great uh, um, uh, the partners and boys and uh, the new challenge with uh, that kind of very positive feeling is uh, is always helping me. We have two questions here in the room before we get to the Zoom calls. Okay. You have a uh, rookie teammate this year, and he is less than half your age. <laughs> are you going to uh, take up kind of a mentor role with him, or what are you expecting from him this year? Well, um, I'm here to, to, to support to him, as well as uh, probably the biggest competitor from him too, that um, he can be as a target. You know, he see me as a target, as well as uh, we need to work together to bring the whole team level 
So uh, I'm, I'm doing anything for the team and David to get up to the speed. But I mean, talking about speed, he's already fastest at the uh, winter testing, including some of the veterans was there. So uh, I'm not worried about his speed because he already showed uh, tremendous uh, the speed as well as the maturity maturity of the good race craft in Indica, you know, in the light series. So uh, uh, I'm sure he needs to learn so many things, but uh, I'm really looking forward to working with, uh, with David as, uh, yeah, like you said, it's not even half of my age. <laughs> and uh, yeah, working together will be a good, um, good um, uh, uh, combination for my side too. Speaking about David Malukas, what can you tell fans and media that might not know a lot about him about David that you've learned in your short time talking with him? Well, um, we will find out together. You know, uh, the David is obviously a nice guy. You know, for the initial feeling, he's a very very nice guy and uh, very dedicated. And um, you know, when 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 we have a, a, a dinner together with Dale and I, and then they were just called David, and then, you know, why don't you come in? And he was the, he was on the gymnasium, you know, sit up and be prepared, but he just jump onto the shower, jump, come to the dinner. That, that sort of guy, he's a, he's a very humble and uh, a good attitude, you know. And um, again, I haven't actually walked him on the racetrack yet, but I'm sure I can feel there's a good, very positive feeling. We, we, we help or support each other. And then uh, the, our intention is one goal at first, uh, to bring the Dale's car to the um, winner's circle. David is 